Up for sale now, Vehicle Max, we have a 2006 Chevrolet 1500 Express Passenger Van. It, has a, it is equipped with a uh, power handicap lift in the rear, and it has also seating in the middle, four passengers. I think it's in total of uh, eight passengers inside, but we'll, we'll review that in a minute, okay? It is silver on the outside with a gray cloth interior. It has um, aluminum wheels and good tires still left on them, you know. Uh, tires are not new, but they still have good travel left on them. Okay, let me continue going around here. Take a quick peek inside. Got uh, power windows, power door locks. Sorry, I couldn't find that cruise control right there. In the front, we got two bucket seats. In the middle, three passengers. And in the rear, three passengers as well. So we got three, three, and two equals eight, plus a handicap lift. It also has a rear AC. Let me continue going around the vehicle, then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and operate the, um, the power, share, uh, power handicap lift, okay? Alloy wheels in the rear, tinted windows in the back. Continue going around. Back here we got what we call barn doors. Now get that open in just a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around the vehicle one more time and then we'll come back here and operate this. The vehicle has no damage, no dents, no scratches, no hail damage, no love bugs, and no major touch-ups of any kind. It's very clean on the outside and on the inside. On the passenger side here, we got barn doors as well. What I mean by barn doors, these are the ones that open up this way. They're not sliding doors, okay? Peek back here, and I'll show you the power chair lift in just a second. Close this up here. Passenger front here. Two buckets in the front. It is equipped with a V8 motor. We'll pop that up in a minute and show you in there. Okay, I'm going to come around now to the back and we're going to operate that uh, handicap lift. Show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and get the car started because uh, that works off the battery of the car, so ideally you want to have the car started so you don't drain your battery. Although you can't operate it with the car off, you just, if you do it enough times, you can uh, drain the battery. Okay, I come back around here. Of course you open the barn doors. There's a switch down here, you flick it up, and I'm going to let uh, JC demonstrate. That control comes off of there, and right here, the, the first thing you do is you press the unfold, right? Okay, let me back off so you can see it, so you can see the operation and how it works. It's also got lights too, I don't know if you can see them. It's got, uh, go ahead and press it. It's got lights there and there, so you can, if you do this at night, you can see what you're doing. Okay, now that you, now that you unfold it, we're going to uh, lower it to the uh, ground level. Goes nice and slow so that your patient or any passenger back here, you know, doesn't fall off so they feel safe. When it hits the bottom, as you see, this unfolds here, so it's easy to roll the wheelchair up. Okay. Uh, and before you do that, let me step on here and show you what they're going to be looking at in here. In here, we got these here. This is to strap down the wheelchair so it doesn't move, and there's also seat belts over here to tie onto, uh, so the passenger has the seat belt on so it's safe. Okay. Once this is on, once you get the passenger up there, you go ahead and uh, press uh, you press up on here. Go ahead. Then it'll lift the passenger up right to the level of the floor of the. Um, there you go. Now you see how it's completely flat there. Then you roll on the passenger there. Once you've got uh, the wheelchair tied down. And you can access, you don't, you don't have to go this way, you can go around the, uh, around the side there of the doors, you can go over there, tie down the wheelchair, buckle the passenger up, once you've got them buckled up, you come over here, and then uh, you got to press your fold to hide this away. There's plenty of space back there, the passenger won't be anywhere near this thing. Folds completely, and then you're done. Now you come over here, you turn this off, and then you hang your control right there and you're 100% ready to go. The brand of this uh, chairlift is, uh, uh, the, brand, the brand is Braun Millennium Series. 
I'll let you focus in on this here in case you want to get a little more information on its capacity and all that. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, do the model so you can see the model, the number, serial number, pump code, and so on and so on. Okay. Uh, see here. Okay. Yeah, there's no more specs anywhere else. All right. As you can see, it's in great shape. I mean, it's uh, all the all the chains and all and all they're nice and clean. All these uh, looks like they didn't have they, they, there wasn't much use to this. You know, they, they didn't use it on a, on a daily basis. Okay, it's very clean all back here. Of course, the only places you'll see, you're gonna see a little scratches are on the on the bottom because this rests against the floor, obviously. Okay, uh, we're good to go back here, and you just come over here, close the barn doors. And over here, and you're good to go. All right, let me go ahead and get inside of the vehicle and show you a little more detail. Take a look at the, uh, you know, make sure we get the windows working and all that stuff. Okay, the car has 65,749 miles. Okay, AC is running right now, it's nice and cold in here. Okay, it's got your towing haul mode, just in case you want to tow either a boat or a trailer or anything like that. That way your transmission shifts differently and you don't burn it out. Uh, right here on the rear view mirror you have a uh, compass and a temperature readout. Okay. Power windows. The driver's one is uh, what I call a one touch. And that what that means is you just click it down and it goes down on its own. You don't have to hold the switch. To go up you do have to hold it. Okay. Go ahead and operate the passenger window here. Okay. Uh, we got power outlets here and here for your either cigarette lighter or your adapter or whatever. Uh, three cup holders over here. It's like a little pen rack here. There's a little more storage down in here. There's a uh, storage down here. Okay. Uh, Pan around the dash so that you can see it's not damaged or cracked or dented anywhere. There are no burn holes in this car on the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpet. There's no odor whatsoever of smoke. So uh, uh, it looks like whoever ha had this vehicle before was definitely a non smoker. Okay, go ahead and turn off the air. It's a little too cold in here. Uh, leather up steering wheel, and I'll pan over it now so you can see it's in perfect shape. It's not torn or twisted or missing any color or paint not chipped off or anything like that all right by the way my name is George you can reach me at 305-218-5462 the website's vehiclemax.net okay the car is running now I'm gonna open the door rev it so you can hear the engine and the reason I'm doing that is so um, you can see that there's no chick engine lights on no airbag lights on no anti-lock brakes no service engine soon nothing of the sort all right, that's just me revving the engine. I wanted to make sure you saw that it was in cars running and there's no issues with it right at the, at the moment, okay? All right, um, I left the lights on, let's turn them off. Power door locks, okay. Go ahead and pop the hood, show you in there. We'll start to, um, and, uh, to finish off the video here. Pan over the driver's seat. These are not stains. These are shadows. Okay, I want to make sure you see that here. When you when you when you move the arm around this, you can see there are shadows. The interior is in very very good shape. As I said, no tears, no cuts, no burns, no discoloration of any kind. All right. Door panels are also very clean. So you just get your factory door vent sticker there. Focus in on the vent so you can match it to the car. Okay, now let me see if I can manage pulling the hood up with one hand. I think I can. Yeah, pretty easy. Okay. It is a 5.3 liter V8. Let me hold it and let it focus in. Okay. Vortec. And it's nice and clean under, under the hood here. Okay. No issues whatsoever. Close, close this. Then you have one more look at the uh, inside back here. All these windows are tinted back here, so you got privacy. Okay. So we've got here in the middle three passengers. And they all have an over-the-shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, okay? Um, back here, another three more passengers here. Here's where 
There's lots of room back here, so I want you to, it's a little hard to see from this angle, but there's plenty of room there back for your uh, your wheelchair passenger. And we've got uh, for the rear passengers uh, dual you know dual AC. I think there's some more vents in the roof back there. It's a little hard to see from this angle. Okay, uh, kind of with a C hero real quick, so you can see that it's in great shape. Take a look at the headliner, so you can see there's no there's no burns or stains or it's not sagging anywhere. Okay. Here's your rear AC vents. All right. Um, at this time, we're going to go ahead and conclude the video. I give you a couple of details about our operation. We're open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 9 to 5, and we're closed on Sundays. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street. Our zip code is 33142 in Miami, Florida. If you have any questions, call me, 305-218-5462. My name is George. We've been in business since 1992. and have sold over 30,000 cars, and we have an A-plus rating with a Better Business Bureau. You can check that out for yourself. We have financing available for all types of credit. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, call me, 305-218-5462, vehiclemax.net.